my name is Emily. Welcome to Wild Heart Online. So I thought I would just give you a quick review of some of the ballet positions that we use in our classes. So I'd like to start standing with ballet first position and I'm going to show you how to actively create your ballet first. So you're standing tall, take your feet right together. Draw your shoulders onto your back, close your rib cage slightly, lengthen your tailbone to the floor. From here, I want you to take your hands just into your gluteal fold, so right in that kind of crease underneath your glutes. And I want you to draw the heels together and then actively open the feet. And you'll feel an activation happen in the back of the legs. That's where you want your turnout to come from. So a common mistake that people will do is they'll come here, they'll crank their turnout, and then they'll extend their legs. So instead of doing that, that's really hard on the knees, I want you to find that activation, pop your fingers into that little spot, heels together, turn out using your muscular energy. There's your ballet first position, heels together, toes turned out. When you bend into the knees, it's called a demi-plie here, a little plie, I want you to take a peek down and your knees should track right over your big toes. Another common mistake with people cranking their turnout here is that the knees will start to buckle in. And again, that's not safe for your knees because if you're going to come down into a deeper plie, your knees are really falling forward and putting a lot of pressure on your joints. So really think about creating that active first position. Second position, you're going to point the foot tendu to the side and then land the foot down. So that's your natural second position. In our bar classes, sometimes we like to go a little bit wider. Wide second, you'll take it about twice as wide. And then again, you'll have a lot more space to come down in your plie. Third position, from your second, tendu, pull that foot in front. So you're taking the right heel or the front heel to the center line of the back supporting foot. Fourth position, all you're going to do is tendu to the front and open that position up. Tendency to let the back hip come forward. So if you're finding a fourth, I want you to draw the back hip forward. Fifth position, we don't work with in our bar classes on the legs, but in case you're wondering, you take the feet right together, drawing the heels and the toes together, and then extend the legs. This is really intense on the hips and especially on the knees if you're coming down. So that is definitely an advanced position. I'll go through the arms next. So finding your first position, you'll float the arms in front of the body like you're holding a big beach ball. Good, and then from here, we might just slightly lift the arms. If we have your arms in front, make sure that you don't come here and crank through your spine. You actually wanna have them a little bit underneath your shoulders. Second position, float the arms out, keeping the elbows relatively still. Like you wanna be able to roll a marble from your shoulder down to your pointer finger. Beautiful. Third position, we'll take the right foot or front foot in and then just draw the opposite arm in. Fourth position, we'll open up, float the arm. Fifth position with the feet and arms, framing the face nicely. Good, so those are just your general standing positions that we use in our classes. Plies, demi-plie, heels stay on the floor. Grand plie, you move through your demi and then on your way down, you get to that point where you can't go any lower without lifting your heels. So then you let the heels gently come up off the floor, keeping your core engaged. Press back into your heels, demi, and extend. So common mistake here is lifting the heels right away. So we're losing a lot of activation when we do that here. So I want you to press, 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 super active, lift the heels, pause but no bounce pause, press the heels, and then lift back up. Good, okay, so now that we've mastered the standing positions, let's take it down to the floor. So in our bar classes, we like to do a lot of work from tabletop. Tabletop, simply stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. First position that we work a lot from are parallel. So this is our parallel attitude. It's basically a 90 degree angle, dropping the one hip, both hips are facing the floor. Parallel arabesque, extend the leg out. Super simple, out and in. Now let's work from an attitude position. So all you wanna do is lift from that hip, open up from the knee, and then lift that outside leg up. So it's not 
big turned out position like this, it's just a slight rotation from the hip, and then your arabesque from there is as simple as straightening into the knee. If you want to modify any of these postures, coming down to the forearms is a great option because that'll help you lift your leg just a little bit higher. So generally, those are the positions that we use the most in our bar classes. So feel free to give them a try. And then if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. And like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining, and we'll see you next time.